Hey everyone, so today we're going to do a spread, a weekly spread in our Target Dollar Spot Planner, but before I get started, I want to say a couple of things. One, I am so, I feel so loved from the support from my um, Instagram that I posted last night. I had a migraine and um, I, it had been a couple days since I posted a video, so I was letting you know there wasn't going to be one that day, and you guys were so incredibly supportive and kind, and I just have to say how like my mouth just dropped at the number amount of like comments that people left for hoping that I was going to feel better so thank you I guess it was sleep deprived because I've slept all night long until this morning at like 8 a.m. so um yeah so thank you for that and two I'm actually going to um, film where I half talk through it and then you can hear me like cutting and stuff because in my last video you guys really seem to love that and prefer that over the music so I'm gonna do that kind of here again today so if you do want to see like my target dollar spot planner set up and you know with all my little tassels I'll include that those videos down in the description box below but if you just love planner videos um, I have an entire playlist and you can watch all the different like planning styles throughout all of the planners that I've used. So let's go ahead and get started. I just recently did this dashboard, so I will link that video down below if you want to see how I put that together. I'll probably end up customizing this um, in another video, but I wanted to just keep it really cute and simple. I also wanted to give you a little glimpse of my May monthly. I didn't do a video on this. It's just really simple and I wanted to make it like a little tea theme related. And this was actually last week, but the reason why I didn't do a tutorial on this was because I actually did a poison ivy spread in my happy planner. And I loved it so much that I wanted to do it in my Target Dollar Spot planner too, but I figured no one would want to probably see like doubles of the same um spread. So here is the spread in my happy planner. I am so obsessed with this that I just want to leave it open on this spread for like the rest of the year. Um, but I do have a really exciting spread planned for this upcoming week. I'm hoping that I'm going to get it done today and post it later on today for you guys to see it. So now we are going to start on a new week. My theme is going to be Rainbow Bright. So when I was little, it was my like one of my very first memories of any toy that I had. I remember I had a Rainbow Bright doll, and I like I'm I was born in the 80s, so I grew in the early 80s, so I grew up watching like all of this stuff, and I love She-Ra and He-Man and Rainbow Bright and Strawberry Shortcake. So um, I definitely had to do a spread on this little cutie pie. So let's go ahead and get started. Why I covered these up with printer paper is because this plum purpley color um, shows up in most of my washi because most of my washi that I own is really like transparent. So if you put this up against the purple, it just doesn't make your washi look like um, the way that it should. And by putting a white background, it really makes the washi pop. Target dollar spot inserts, the pages are not that thick and durable, so I definitely do have to add these little reinforcements. Now I am going to add some washi, and of course I have to do rainbows. Because how often did Rainbow Bright and her cute horse ride 
on top of like a rainbow. I think the stars would be perfect for this. I don't know where these sheets of washi are from. Um, they were given to me as a gift. So I'm sorry that I don't have the information, but if anyone knows where um, these strips of washies are from, let me know. I don't know if they're from the Dollar Tree or not. I've, I've never seen them at the Dollar Tree, but they're really cute. Once I have all of my stuff written in, um, I don't have like a set place where I put everything, but I try to put like videos all in the same kind of corner. Um, but definitely lay out what you have to do the way that you want it. You can make a little like to-do list and number your items. It's up to you. I just kind of like free form right in the space. And next I am going to um, write over them in marker. I always do because I think that it just looks better than the pen mark. This looks great and we can go ahead and put this into the planner I am going to remove my little pencil pouch which I love I did a DIY on this I will link it down below but it's basically velcroed in which is fabulous so I'm just gonna take it off so that it's not really slanted when we put this in I mean how adorable is that now we are going to take our images and put them as a little cover, kind of like I did here, but I think I'm gonna do an envelope. So I'm gonna walk you through how I put this together. This is really kind of the same concept as how I did my planner dashboard. I simply went to my desktop and I go to Google, Google Images and I just search for rainbow bright images and then when I find the ones that I love, I just copy them and paste them over into a folder. And this folder sits on my desktop and I basically just call it images and then I drop it into my folder. And then from there, I open up a Word document and then I will drag that image or you can copy it and paste it onto your Word, but you can also drag from your folder to your Word document as well. And then I am going to size it to however big or small that I need the image. And then once I have that sizing figured out, I'll just go ahead and print it. And as you can see for this one, I tried to fit two images onto one printer paper just to save paper. Well, I am going to cut up the images because I'm going to separate them. I am going to also use some Velcro dots. These are from the Dollar Tree. Here is what the box looks like. And I love using these because it's a really easy way to close my envelope without having to seal it permanently shut. So I'm just going to, and I already put them together so that they're aligned perfectly. So you go like this and then you wanna push it down and then, ta-da. I love that because then you can put all kinds of little notes in here. 
I'm gonna put my envelope on the top. Usually I put them on the bottle, bottom or the center, so I'm gonna change it up and put it on the top. And we'll go like this so that we can kind of see the washi there too. That is perfect. I love that. So essentially we could just make her as a little cover here. Um, but when you would flip her clothes, she would look like this, but that's okay. But if you do keep your planner open or you flip open to it, it could look like this. And then, yeah, you'd have some extra writing room. How adorable is that? I also have some stickers that I got from the Dollar Tree as well. And when I got them, I knew that I wanted them to be for Rainbow Bright. And it's these rainbow stickers. How cute is that? So I think I want one like right here. So these are some paper clips that I've made myself and they're just these cute little pom-poms that I think I got from Hobby Lobby and I just hot glued them to the back of a white paper clip from the Dollar Tree. And I really like, I think I really like this blue, I'm not sure. The blue is really cute, so is the silver. I'm thinking blue for sure. Okay guys, that is my Rainbow Bright spread and my Target Dollar Spot Planner. I hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I have another planner spread hopefully coming out. Um, I don't know if it'll be before this or not, but for my happy planner. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.